Hey, this is a small video of a small game. Bandai Electronics Hope Escapes 1980. This is made by Bandai Electronics. Okay. And if you can see, I don't have the battery cover for mine, but that's fine because it takes a 9 volt battery, which is very easy to put in and it's not going anywhere. So, to have the battery cover wasn't really a big deal to have. Okay, these were basically made in 1980s. They made this one, and they also made a Spider-Man from Batman Electronics. Um, they're not really like big video game type games. They're simple, fun games. A lot of imagination needed. But if you can see the details on this, it's really cool. I mean, this is a really cool game, and these are pretty hard to find. I mean, it, it took me a, quite a while to get this. And uh, if you do see them online, you're going to see them run at a steep price. I mean maybe fifty a hundred dollars maybe something cheaper me luckily i waited about a year i was lucky to get this one for under fifteen dollars okay without the battery cover like i said which is no big deal i wasn't going to pass it up if it was something so, so silly like that and if you can see the condition it is it is it is near near new it is, the, the sticker is still attacked all around on the bottom and it has an on and off switch over here it has an action button and it has little scrolls to keep your points and basically what you do is the whole point of this game is to make sure to, to get to the to, to get to the furthest to the top and then uh... It, it's a simple game, I'll give you an example how to play it you turn it on and it makes that sound and it's just you see it's flashing and it stops at a certain point my lights Okay, and then what you do is you guide these of where to go. And the first one basically to make it to the top basically wins. So it's simple, and you keep your points on the bottom that way. It, 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 it's, a, it's a very imaginary game. You need your imagination. But being it's a Hulk electronic game that they hardly made any Incredible Hulk games, I wanted it. I mean, I really do. I really didn't want it. And what's great is this is to make this something, something like this complete is to have the original Hulk from Ego. I mean, that's something that's, to me, that's a complete thing right there. Right there, just have something like that besides having his comic books. That, that, that is really cool. That is really, really cool. And you can see the Hulk Mago. And, and it's, it's a really nice little game. I mean, it takes a lot of imagination. The way I play it personally is there's uh, 10. There's ten numbers on each side to the bottom that scroll up and down, if you could see, and you scroll your numbers up and down, like ten, nine, eight. How I play it personally is, uh, it says on each side, one player, two player. So what I do is I use my imagination, and I say I'm player one, and the computer's player two. So I'll play a game, like this, and I'll see who I gets the top first. I use one side for player two and one side for player one okay like say player two got on top so I'll scroll his down to one and then I'll keep playing like that and the first one to reach ten is the winner I like to, I'll, I'll play on player two if player one keeps, keeps like player two just went to the top again so he's got two points now which is the computer and I got zero points so the first one I keep going to the top first until I get it on my side, is going to be the winner. I mean, there's, there's a lot of possibilities to play this game with your own imagination. But if, if you see, there's really nothing to it. But there's like a little, little, it's, it's a fun game. It's a fun little, it's, it's a subject to have that's Incredible Hulk. And like I said, being that there's really no Incredible Hulk games, and being that I'm showing this, I'll also show, I also have this one here. <laughs> it's another uh, Incredible Hulk game made by Technosource. This one is kind of cool. This is very simple. This one takes, um, a second. I, it had the screw thing in the back and I, I didn't bother putting the screw thing so I just put a piece of tape so it's easy just to put it on. This one takes a couple of AA batteries. This one here, which I have right here. And this one is like a little rampage type thing. This one's like a little rampage type thing. You can't really see much. But, um, you just take Hulk, and you bring him on top of the buildings, and you keep, you keep breaking the buildings. 
see, she's breaking the buildings, she's going around, and as he's breaking the buildings, he tries to get from one building to the next. That's basically all you do on this one. But if you could see this one itself, how cool it is, I really enjoyed this one based on the shape. As you can see, he's got his little hands out. Takes, like I said, a couple of AA batteries. I do have the, the top to this, but it's, instead of putting a little screw on it, it's a piece of tape. It's easy for me to get going in and out of it. Okay, he's got a little controls on the side. He's got a nice little tape. This one is a little hard to find. This one is hard to find. I basically bought this one for about hmm, eight bucks. I was lucky enough to get it for about eight. But I want it, like I said, to get the shape. Look how cool that is. Look how cool this guy's little hands. Look at that. That's it. That's it. This is another cool one. And also, I have another one, which this one is made by. Um. The, um, oh, uh, M M G A. This one's made by M G A. And this one actually is a little more funner than this one. This one's got a nicer shape to it. But this was uh, this one's definitely a little more fun, funner. And this one takes two AA batteries, which I have right here. So there's, there's no sound in this one. Uh, there's not much sound in this one. But this one you just basically take out any action, and you keep punching, you go forward, you go backward, and you get killed. But this one is definitely a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, as, you, as you're playing, you get, you're, you're trying to beat the tanks and the helicopters, and uh, this this one, like I said, is a little more better than the other one. But these are basically the only three Incredible Hulk games that I know that are handheld battery operated. I mean, there are other ones, you know, that are not battery operated that are basically cartridges, but when it comes to, to actually just an LCD type unit to put your battery in, these are basically the only ones that are out there. But this one video was basically on this one here, Hulk Escapes, Bandai Electronics, 1980. This is something, and, and in order to get this one back in the day, you had to order it. It wasn't in stores. You had to get, uh, you had to go in a comic book. And uh, if, if you look, um, if anybody's like a, a real comic book collector, comic book fan, there's, uh, there was an article inside of a comic book page that you ordered it. That was the only way to get it. And I'm not going to do it today. I'll, I'll, I'll probably bring it up another day. This, um, being that it's, it's a basically the same game, but I will just squeeze it out fast. I have the other one also. So I, so I do have both of them. I do have them both. This one I'm lucky again. Another one. Great condition, as you can see. Amazing condition that it's in. Under $15 I got this one too. And this one had the battery cover. This one had the back to it. So they were both near mint. Near mint. And of course, they like well, $25 for both, which is nothing than back in the day when you wind up uh, getting these, when you ordered them through the catalogs and you had to wait four to six weeks to get them through the mail. Um, back when mail was that way, which it doesn't take three days like it does now, um, they were only like $8 in the articles. So so back in the day when you bought them, between this one and the Spider Man you could get them both for under twenty dollars. But uh, being I almost got I basically got them at the price, double the price that they were. So if they were eight back in the day I got it for about fifteen or over fifteen. So of course we double the price which wasn't even a lot. But then they're not really much into um there's no graphics. it's basically an imagination game. Use your imagination, you play it any way you want. That's what makes it so cool. You can play it. And, and, and the way I do, besides that little buzzing sound in the background that that's made, it's just cool to have a little see. Like, that's, that's player one. I got one point where he got his two points. So, if to, and I'll keep continue the game until somebody reaches ten points and I'll win the game. So, I'll play it that way. It does have uh, how to play in the back. How to play is so for a 9-volt battery. Um, switch on, then press play button to activate random action LED light, which is this light over here. When play button reaches, uh, excuse me, when play button is released, light will stop on eight possible outcomes that you've just seen. Move Hulk as directed by LED. For example, if he stops on one of these, you move this little Hulk to that direction. First player to reach top the map, map wins. So to me, instead of keep doing this up and down, back and forth, whoever wins the top, I just point it out, each one. So, like I said, Hulk Escapes, 
Bandai Electronics, 1988. If you could find this one, get it. If you could find the Slider Man, get it. Because these are definitely collector's items. These are things that you're not going to see come up uh, uh, every six months or every three months. You're lucky you see them come up once a year. Okay, like I said, price range, I got lucky. I seen them 50, I seen one for $150, you know, which is a lot of money. Okay, to pay that kind of price, I don't know if I would have paid that, to be honest with you. I really don't know. But to pay the price I paid for, for if I did, for a silly little piece of plastic that started the battery cover, it was well worth it. And the condition, like I said, is everything's intact. Everything is definitely intact. It's all there. It's all in there. Okay, Incredible Hulk. Bandai Electronics, 1980. This is another one. You, you, it's a must-have. It's definitely a must-have. Okay? See you later.